Always a pleasure to have Winter High School head football coach Dan Aker join us. Uh, coach, last week your team was able to get a win against the Cheyenne Eagle Butte Braves. Can you recap that for us, some positives and maybe some areas to build on? You know, I think we, I thought we played what we needed to play. Um, you know, we felt going in that we were a better team and, and what we needed to do was just go out and prove that right from the get-go. I thought we had a really nice four, four, uh, first quarter. Um, we executed well on offense, had some big plays, um, did a pretty good job defensively. And, and you know, our guys really kind of bought in. You know, we, we've talked about every time and being ready to play. It doesn't matter who we're playing. That we got to have that effort and execution in every single snap, and I, I didn't really see a letdown from week one, uh, which gave us the ability to you know get a lot of guys in and, and, and do some good things. Um, I thought we had too many penalties that you know maybe stalled a couple drives early. Uh, I shouldn't say stalled, but put us back in, in situations where you know when we get into big games, you know we're not really built for second and sixteen and third and what you know twelve. So those are things to work on, but also those are good early in the season too. There are guys understand what they get away with and probably can't. So, uh, but overall, you know, I I thought we played the way we were capable of playing, and that's probably the big thing we stressed to them all week that we need to play to our abilities, not to, not to anybody that we're playing against, whether you know it's top rated team or whoever. So, um, I thought we came out and and, and did that, and um, you know, as I said before, got a lot of guys in the game that, that finished it off for us. So, as a football fan. You know, people like to see those lopsided scores, but from from a coaching perspective, tell us what it's like not getting that forty eight minutes of football in for your uh, first first string guys. Concerning, um, you know, when we play the first two weeks and we've basically play, played three combined quarters of football with our varsity guys, when you figure a quarter and a half probably for, for both at the most, uh, it's concerning because there's going to be you know eventually a time when we we're going to be playing the second half. And, we need to have um, you know, conditioning one and, and you know, our, where we're at mentally when things maybe not going right and we haven't really seen that yet. So, you know, in practice, we're trying to address that a little bit with the conditioning. Um, <coughs> if you saw with our special teams last week, we kept a lot of our first team in there. Um, and our thinking on that was part of the conditioning part of it, where we want to get them as many reps as we can um, while they're on the game field and um, still getting some other guys in at different times. But, um, you know, we just felt that we needed to, they need to be running up and down the field and get as much conditioning out of the game as we can. And, and um, so that's probably how we're going to progress with that. Um, but um, it's tough to sit in a late game in practice and we know what it takes for 48 minutes in practice. So we've kind of been, you know, kicking things around our head. We've been doing different things we probably haven't did for a while. Probably had a lot of harder practices during the week. Um, and our kids might not like it, but I was honest with them. I told them exactly why we're doing it, and um, you know, so far they've bought into it, and hopefully, and they come with that uh, attitude each day of practice that uh, you know we know we're going to work pretty darn hard, and part of it is a conditioning just because of what we've missed um, the first two weeks on Friday night. Coach, uh, I was joined by Donnie Watzel the second quarter of the game, and we were discussing his first game that was played. Uh, he was a senior the first year that the football field was moved. Um, what what are your recollections of your first game on this field as a head coach? Well, it was against Chamberlain, and uh, what probably made it a little little unique. Bill Kurtz was Chamberlain's coach at that time, and we actually coached together in my hometown Bison, so we were pretty familiar with each other. Um, I know we were wanting to win because we we went down and played Valentine the week before, and my mother played first game as the head coach and winner, and that was a really good game, exciting game. But uh, they outscored us essentially, and uh, so we were regrouping and, and looking to play. Get a W on the board, and um, I think we handled them fairly good, 48-14, I believe it was, and um, kind of got that season rolling a little bit. We, we went on a pretty good string until we ran into Lennox later in the year, uh, my first year. But uh, it was good, good to get the first win, and, and um, you know, it's uh, you remember a lot of the little things um, throughout the year, but in particular games, and we've got some pretty good ones on Warrior Field, that's for sure. Coach, you faced the Wagner Red Raiders, SESD conference opponent, somebody that you've faced uh, several times in the last six years or so. Uh, tell us what to expect from the Red Raiders. Last year, as we were discussing before the camera was rolling, they tried to spread it out and threw darn near at every play. What do you expect this year? 
Yeah, you know, it gets beers for they were they were in the traditional uh, pro eye and you know from there they run some some plays that are kind of tough to defend. They kind of run a stretch of power similar to we run, the way we run our toss, but it, they sell it to the outside, try to influence that end out, and then come downhill. And you remember back in the days when they had Kosher and the, and the crew, they were really good at that. Um, then off that they'll run some counter and some play action. But you know, last year they went, you know, they were um, double slots, trips, and empty. Entire game. I think when we went back and looked, they they ran the ball one time against the slush, and that was a quarterback sneak on the one yard line or something. So you know we've got to prepare for some of the base stuff they do that they did, um, and they showed a lot of that against Beersford. But at the same time, they've had, especially in the last four or five years, success against us in the screen game, especially tunnel screens. So we worked really um, hard on on trying to defend those. And, and uh, but it really comes down to what we preach every week. You know, if they're going to try to run the ball, we need to shut down the run and force them in those passing situations. Because we really we force them into doing something, and we know what they're going to do, and that, that really helps. Um, you know, and anytime you see any spread or double slots or anything like that, you got to expect for plays downfield and different combo routes. And you know, our, our secondary sees it every week, and part of it is getting pressure on the quarterback. We got, we got to get to the front four in particular, but. When, we send some blitzes. We got to get there, and we got to be in, in good position and and uh, make tackles in front of us. You know, we had a ton of opportunities. I think we had four interceptions last year, if I remember right, and we probably could have had fifteen. And I'm not saying that jokingly. I'm saying we had ball in the air with opportunity to get it, and we and bottom we didn't get. So you know, we need to get to the to the ball, and, and, and we preached all week that the ball is in here, it's ours. So um, what exactly we're going to see, I don't know. They may come out just like they did last year and start chucking it around. Which is all right because we're ready for that too. They still run that four four stack that they used to. Uh, they're in a. They've been running odd man three <clears> five. <throat> um, we'll see more of a five three look. I'm sure I cannot imagine them um, taking their outside backers as wide as they've had against Pierceford. But if they do, we've worked on all that. Um, you know, and we're already week three, and I don't know of any defensive front that we haven't kind of seen or worked on because it's just that's that's what we're going to see. They're going to mix things up, and a big part I think is getting their head up. And seeing the blitzers and picking those things up. Coach, last question. Uh, I know the playoff point system has changed from what's been historically they've gone to, the Nebraska system, if you will. Can you explain briefly how that has changed, how the how the point system has changed? Yeah, it's really based on um, strength of schedule, I guess you could say. You know, you get uh, 50 points for a win um, with a, somebody with a record of 750 and above, and then it just goes down two points. Um, for every percentage point, so if it's 750 up is 50, um, 500 up is uh, 48, or to 49, 47, 45. It, anyway, it goes every every two, and um, you know, so then it does the same thing with losses. And what uh, what was taken away um, this year, which I, in my opinion is probably a pretty good thing, is you don't get any bonus points for playing up a division. Uh, it's just a straight score. Uh, but it's really based on you know your kind of strength of schedule, and you know, I, we'll see how it plays out. But I'm guessing that our, our strength of schedule, just kind of looking at it, is going to be a little lower than some teams. So you do get the full bonus point if you go undefeated. So that's always a reward if you can have the ability to do that. Um, but it's different, you know. And they they pick it up in basketball, and volleyball last year, and what you really see, especially in those sports, and I think you'll see it in football for the first. Five, six, seven games is it, it, it'll fluctuate a lot from week to week because if you get up to five hundred, that'll bump you up. If you get to two wins, even it'll bump you up from from no wins, and so you'll see it ever changing. Um, but I think it's fairly fair, and I think that the we'll wait till the season kind of plays out and look at everything. But I think it's a pretty fair um, way to do things, and uh, it's I thought it worked really well in basketball, volleyball, and Nebraska's been doing it for you know, 15, 20 years, so. They haven't had a lot of complaints, so we'll see how it all works out, but uh, that's kind of a nutshell how it works. Coach, we appreciate your time. Best of luck against the Red Raiders. All right, thanks, Bob.